I think Denny tried to come to pit road the time before and he missed the entry. Why? Well, I mean, he wasn't even close. I don't, I don't know if that was a last second decision or, or what happened there, but it cost him a lot of time to slow down and then try to get back up to speed, and make it down pit road. Hamlin is there now. He'll go at least a lap down and Kyle Busch is your leader. And Denny Hamlin nabbed for too fast exiting pit road. Boy, Denny Ham Hamlin has had a tough time on pit road in recent years. Second penalty this year is Kyle for Hamlin as his teammate Kyle Busch surrenders the lead and comes to make his stop with 19 laps to go in stage one. Costly mistake for Denny Hamlin to do that under green flag conditions. Stage two complete. Denny Hamlin leads them on to pit road. And not everybody's coming, Vince. Well, Hamlin is coming. He took gas only last time strictly for the track position because when this 11 car is out front, it is sporty indeed. But now they're going to take four tires for Hamlin, hoping he keeps that track position. As far as the 18 of Kyle Busch, chassis adjustment and gas only for the 18 of Kyle Busch. Unfortunately, we've got some bad news. Yes, to bad Hamlin. news to go with the good news. He and Kevin Harvick both have a pit road violation. Uncontrolled tire. For Hamlin. You see the right front tire sitting out there as the tire changer finishes up. We're okay, but right now, no one who can carry that tire is within an arm's length of it. Yeah, the Jackman doesn't really count. So it's it's either the tire changer or the tire carrier that has to be an arm. Uh, reach from that tire. It's, 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 it's such a timing thing. Denny Hamlin has overcome not one but two penalties to find himself in third place. There's the sawtooth <laughs> graph of his day. You can usually <laughs> recover when you have that one big spike early in the race. A spike like that that comes late in the race, almost impossible to recover from that. Vince? Well, one of the things that uh, Denny talked to me about this morning was that they need to clean up some of their execution. <laughs> Two penalties today, not exactly doing that. Just imagine what they might be able to do uh, if they actually did clean up all of that. Uh, but they're running pretty well. The coach has got to be pleased with the way things have worked out. And you got to give a shout out to the new crew chief, Chris Gabart. He has stepped into that position and it is pressure filled and he has really helped this team along. Denny has a lot of confidence in him and that says a lot about Chris Gabart. That he has, Vince, and if they need to clean up, if Denny doesn't win this race, maybe he can borrow that broom from Kyle Busch. <laughs> yes, he might. I'm sure he'll loan it to him. He's only won it about five times. I don't know. So here's Boyer for what should be the last stop of the day for him. Newman coming as well. And Denny Hamlin next lap. Jamie? And they're telling Clint Boyer, don't speed, don't slide the tires. He eases into his pit box, just about three seconds worth of fuel, and he's out. Newman in, one can of fuel over the wall. In and out. And Denny lost some time coming to pit road. We've seen him have issues coming to pit road. He was very conservative that time. Vince? Well, they had one speeding penalty. They also had another pit penalty. Going to make a chassis adjustment and gas for Denny. It's just a little too free entering the turn. That's what he needs to finish. Austin Dillon will be the new leader. Here comes the three to pit road. Logano in with him. Although laps down. Splash and go for Austin Dillon. And here comes Hamlin. Well, you the leader. Give Denny Hamlin, he, he was so conservative coming to pit road, but whatever they did on pit road and the job that Denny did leaving pit road really built a nice gap back to the 14. You said it, Daryl. He has a way of coming <laughs> back. Falls in it. I don't know how he does it, but they do it every a lot. A double penalty day and a checkered flag for Denny Hamlin. He, Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota up, win the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. 
It has been almost nine years since Denny Hamlin went to victory lane here at Texas Motor Speedway. Climbs from the car, wants to get that flag. Denny, Chris Gabehart just came on the radio and said, we still haven't executed a, a clean race yet, but we have two wins. How did you overcome two penalties today to get the win? Uh, and a miss pit road under green, uh, just a uh, fast car. He gave me a fast car, a car enough that uh, could really pass anyone in the field. So just, that means a lot. So uh, it definitely was a, a different type of race, you know, trying to draft and everything and trying to get out of everyone's wake. But proud of this whole FedEx office team here, uh, Toyota, Coca-Cola, uh, the Jordan brand, uh, Little Big Burger, everyone who helps uh, put this race car on the racetrack. Joe Gibbs, J.D. Gibbs, still thinking about him and his legacy. So got to say hey, hi to Jordan and the kids at home, and hopefully we, uh, we have some fun tonight. Hey, there's a flag, and I see some Hamlin fans waiting for you. Congratulations. Denny Hamlin wins at Texas.